Hello everyone, it's Leroy Diesel. Got a new product to show you today. And this is this product. It's a basically it's a fancy T. Um, and where it's gonna go is in your upper radiator hose. You would actually just cut your radiator hose and basically you're gonna install it right there somewhere. But I've got this I didn't want to cut this hose today and all of that but it would be kind of down here actually you might point it slightly up because the hose is going to connect is going to go over the core support right about here you know you'll get that you'll get all that figured out common sense stuff get a couple clamps to go with it um over over i'm kind of explaining the installation first i'll explain the reason next uh, so right here is a hose that I've just got kind of dummied up, mocked up in here. It's a 5 8 hose, which I'm going to give you a half inch hose. So it's a little reducing barb fitting, and then it'll go over to that T I just showed you. But this hose, the mock-up hose, is actually this hose on the truck. So this hose that goes to your upper radiator return from your heater core is this hose and so what we're doing instead of returning here we are going to return all the way over to here to get on the suction side of the of the radiator on the system with that fitting and uh, you would just it'll be a push lock you'll just push it on to that cut cut the hose to length push it on and you're done it's pretty quick installation now the reasoning for this is uh, right here is the thermostat housing and it's pushing the hottest possible water back you know to the heater core and you know because obviously you want hot water going through your heater core and so they pull it from the hottest source which is right here before it goes through the thermostat because all the water is coming up through the thermostat crossover from the hottest possible place. It, it's gone through the block and cooled everything that it can, and now it's trying to make its way back to the radiator. And so, anyway, the uh, coolant is going back to the heater core. And by the way, this is another product I make. Look on my cooling page. It's the heavy duty upper heater core hose. Um, you can just kind of see it there. It's got the heavy duty fabric line and it goes down to your heater core. So the hot water goes through there, <clears throat> excuse me, and then the hot water goes right back, get my hand out of the way, goes right back here, which is the cold side of the radiator. So all that hot water is being sucked right back down to the water pump because the, the suction nipple of the water pump is that lower radiator hose. So you're going straight from here to there. So all this hot water a similar theory to my bypass restrictor fitting but all this hot water is going from here straight back to the engine on my uh, water pump bypass fitting it's the same kind of thing I'm getting off topic here a little bit but also in the chain of cooling would be the bypass restrictor fitting and it goes on the top of the water pump and on the dual thermostat housings that water pump is sucking I just, as I just mentioned a minute ago, this is the hottest possible water in this engine compartment, and it's sucking it right back to the engine as fast as it possibly can to push it back through the engine again. So with the dual thermostats, you need to be running that restrictor. Um, with the single thermostat, you don't need it because they have a complete bypass blocker built into those. So getting back onto this um, this product, um, that's it. Um, kind of the theory behind it so what you're doing is instead of that hot water being returned right back to the cold side of the radiator you are now bringing it back over here to this fitting which will be installed there which oops, almost dropped it which means all that hot water now has to make the whole trip through that whole radiator before it can get back over to that lower radiator hose which is attached to the water pump so that should explain that and so it's again it's just another 
anything in the chain of events that on these six fives they're so lacking for cooling that they constantly run hot and you may still run hot you may do all these mods and you may you know you just may do every single thing you may have the high performance radiator the balance flow water pump clutch fan blade bypass restrictor and now this component but if you're like pulling hard with these trucks i don't know what it is i have never figured it out i've never had anybody even be able to explain it to me but the cooling on these things um is lacking uh so we're trying to do everything we can uh keep your radiator clean uh on this particular truck i've actually relocated the oil cooler um to get it out of the heat heating stack here and i relocated the transmission cooler it's up underneath the bed of the truck way up under there and it's the transmission cooler is very well protected that's not a kit i'm interested in producing so don't ask me about that one the engine oil cooler kit um if you're running my oil filter relocation kit already you probably would have to um figure something out anyway if you're running that already call me and you know we'll, we can figure something out when there's a will there's a way but if you're not running one of those kits you can relocate this engine oil cooler to a back there where the lift pump is on the frame rail but i would never take it off road so if you have a four-wheel drive i would not do that or i would build a substantial skid shield or something like that this is a two-wheel drive and um never sees off road so i'm not worried about it um anyway getting kind of long-winded here again it seems like i always do that so if you're interested in this product it's um i still got to come up with a name when you see it on the website it'll have a name and a price and all that um i just mainly wanted to get this video done so that i could get it uploaded and all that and i always forget to say like and subscribe and comment down below and all that good stuff that helps me and it helps you helps future six five guys and the product i did yesterday got it youtube i got a uh, video up on youtube was that water expansion tank or coolant expansion tank and it sure is nice to be able to see the coolant again it has the uh and it's even hard to see that but when they laser cut that it kind of comes out with some burn marks there but anyway it's got the the leroydiesel.com logo on there and that is also a kit that i'm offering and the, the reason being is the coolant tanks were discontinued and here i go again getting long-winded sorry that's it if you have any questions let me know leroydiesel.com go there and check it out on the cooling page have a good one